Another hobby plant we grow on our farm is feijoa, which used to be classified as by taxonomists as um, feijoa celuana, and for a long time now is actually officially acas celuana, though um, it's still mostly referred to as feijoa, um, and it's named after a Portuguese. Um, botanist that um, discovered it, I guess, for Europe anyway, of course. Um, it's, well, I think it's grown in um, Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, maybe, I forget now. Um, but, of course, those people were um, native to were already familiar with it. It wasn't discovered for them, and um, I don't actually know what the name that they refer to it. Um, another name that it's given is pineapple guava. It's not as actually a guava, but we don't pick the fruit off of the tree. When they're ripe, they drop to the ground. And I have 12 or 13 varieties. This is one of the larger ones. Um, and I think that this one here is unique. Either unique or Apollo. I get um, it confused here. I don't have them labeled. I have a map of them. But um, all of them are quite good, I think. Some are much smaller than this. Um, and several of the ones I do grow were introductions by my friend Mark Albert from Ukiah. Um, Mark gets hassled by people, some I know, wanting to buy trees from him. He doesn't um, do that, um, and a mutual friend, Pat Schaefer, does propagate some trees, but just not in the quantities that there's demand for, so it's hard to come by, but um, they're not particularly difficult to graft, but it's easier to graft um, onto a seedling. Um, I purchased most of mine. Um, my friend Marta has drafted a couple for me. I have one more that needs to get planted here. I've got a hedge of them. One thing about this plant um, too, it's grown a lot as a landscape plant. It's quite attractive with green gray foliage and has very pretty pink blossoms in the spring and in the Sunset Garden book. Um, I guess it's the Western Sunset Garden book. I forget now. I've had it for 30 years or more. Um, you know, it makes mention in there of the petals being edible, and I know I've mentioned that to people that weren't aware of that until I told them, and they're actually quite tasty. Um, but let me pause here for a minute, and I'll cut one open so you can see the inside of the fruit. Okay, I've cut this fruit lengthwise. Now, usually I cut them across the fruit the other direction, and I eat them, I scoop them out with a grapefruit spoon, and that works very well for me. Um, but if I'm going to just eat them out of hand, they're easier this way. Um, they're still a bit messy. You can see there's some seeds inside. These seeds um, can be grown into seedling plants and usually a good variety will produce um, a seedling tree that can also um, produce good quality fruit and that's how my friend Mark Albert um, one thing that Mark had commented on is um, you know, many of the ornamental types grown in California are ones with rough skin and those usually have been of lower quality and ones that have smoother skin generally are better. Um, they're a combination of sweet and let me see if I can get a taste here and come up with some ideas on the flavors. I'm not good at this.
I wouldn't say anything of a pineapple, but it's got maybe a little bit of pineapple flavor, but sweet and a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say acidity, but, um, you know, it's um, got a good aroma. It's slightly gritty texture, but, um, this variety is one of the smoother ones, and that's a, a positive attribute. Um, I just say it's a very good flavor. I made some jam out of this two years ago and shared it with some friends, and they were quite ecstatic about it. Um, and they want me to make more and sell them jam, but I don't have time for that. I made some jam with the whole fruit with the skin and all and I did not care for that as much and so to make jam to scoop out all the pulp it's much slower process anyway again this is feijoa and I don't know about the hardiness it can be at least in zone 8 um, I know we're in zone USDA zone 9b um, I'm not sure about colder than that I don't have any personal experience with that but it grows well for us, no pests. I don't have bird damage, insect damage, though I heard my friend Brian the other day, he discovered a worm in a fruit that he got from my friend Marta. So he was the lucky one. The only one so far that we've ever heard of that found a, a worm inside of a facho. I don't know what type of um, insect that was. Um, but I've not ever had that and um, no disease problems at all. They're very low maintenance. Thanks for watching.